Do you hate ticks? Congratulations, you made it to TikTok. Tick, TikTok. Where we talk about reducing ticks. Tick, talk, TikTok. So, if these guys creep you out, we now have good research about what to do to reduce our tick encounters. First up, the stuff that doesn't work. Pesticides. Research from the, actually multiple studies, including research from the CDC, has shown that pesticides neither uh, reduce Lyme disease nor tick encounters. And this is probably because the pesticides hurt biodiversity, so it kills off the things that would either eat or compete with the uh, ticks. Here's another one where you can read about that. So what does work? Well, for one, biodiversity. There are actually multiple studies that show that biodiversity can strongly impact the number of ticks and whether or not they're carrying Lyme. Research shows that areas with high biodiversity have lower tick populations, which is probably why most people contact ticks and Lyme in their own yards. And the prevalence of Lyme bacteria is greater in areas lacking biodiversity. And another one, because this seems very counterintuitive to us nature-fearing Americans, who often think that creating healthy biodiverse yards will create a tick banquet. But now research also shows that unhealthy forest and forest fragmentation, for example, suburban sprawl, does increase tick prevalence. And you know what else increases ticks? Dad's leaf blower. The common practice of blowing leaves to the edge of the lawn or forest uh, actually causes that leaf layer to build up over time unnaturally, and that becomes perfect tick habitat, increasing ticks by up to three times. So in living areas where we want to be tick-free, it's best to just leave the uh, leaves in place, mulch them with the lawnmower so they break down quickly, preventing that tick habitat. And while total overall biodiversity is a plus, we also want to have some areas of mown lawn where we're sitting and spending time and kids are playing and stuff. But still, researchers say that personal protection is the most important part, so make sure you're doing tick checks, especially when you're out in tick-infested areas between May and July. And if you want a natural tick spray... Researchers have identified lemon eucalyptus oil as being as effective as pesticides. Citronella, cedarwood, and nootcatone were also found to be somewhat effective, at least. So to recap, yes, create healthy biodiverse yards. Also create areas that are low risk for humans. Ditch the leaf blower. Make sure you do tick checks and use an effective uh, natural tick repellent.